Let's see, what am I supposed to talk about today? Yeah. Axle configurations. <laughs> That's easy. There are three things certain in this life. Death, taxes, and that fleets should equip their trucks with six by four axles. Thanks for watching. Wait, wait, wait. Six by twos. Six by twos? Why would you want to equip a truck with six by two? To save on fuel costs? Are you serious? Specking a truck means considering, and sometimes reconsidering, almost every aspect of the vehicle. That includes components that previously never required much choice. Drive axle configurations are a perfect example of this. For a long time, the standard was a 6x4 configuration in which both rear tandem axles received power. Trucks came with 6x4 regardless of the jobs they were designed to do. However, some fleets and drivers have lately been switching to 6x2 configurations in which only one of the rear axles receives power. The other is a tag or dead axle whose only function is to bear weight. Specking one of these options over the other comes down to decisions about applications, driving surfaces, weather conditions, fuel efficiency, load weights, and driver preference. Now, it makes sense that a 6x4 configuration has been the standard for so long. Trucks need a lot of torque and traction to perform, and having tandem drive axles pushing four drive wheels makes it easier for them to accomplish their jobs, while also improving handling and overall performance. Typically, it can be argued that trucks with a 6x4 configuration also have higher resale values because they're suitable to more applications, particularly vocational jobs. Also, many truckers are more comfortable with the 6x4 configuration, which could be a factor in driver recruitment and retention. So given the proven track record of the 6x4 configuration, why would a fleet manager or a owner operator spec a 6x2? Well, it's driven by the quest for greater fuel efficiency. A 6x2 configuration generally delivers better fuel mileage. The North American Council for Freight Efficiency, which endorses 6x2 axles, estimates that specking a 6x2 axle configuration could result in fuel mileage increase of up to 2.5%. The efficiency comes about because a tag axle lacks internal gearing, which contributes to reduced parasitic power losses through the rear axle and results in weight savings. The weight savings also makes it possible to pull a heavier load while staying under legal limits. Tag axles also require less maintenance than drive axles, which can save time and money. The trade-off with the 6x2 configuration is less traction and torque. With only half the number of drive wheels, a 6x2 truck does not have the same amount of traction as a 6x4. This can be an issue for a lot of vocational applications as a truck that goes off-road is more likely to need that extra traction. Less traction can also be a safety issue when driving in ice, snow, and rain, or on steep grades. Also, a 6x2 configuration is tougher on tires because all the torque must be managed by two wheels, not four. That can shorten tire life, so you'll want to be sure drivers are trained in gentler takeoffs. In general, you might say a 6x2 configuration is well suited for OTR applications that drive on dry, flat roads, while a 6x4 configuration is best when trucks need more traction. However, just keep in mind there's no right answer here. Depending on your application, you might even find both styles of configurations could work. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching.